All right, so this one was tricky, all right? But what I want to show you guys is, first of all, let's count up IHD and carbons. So carbons for this one was 10, and carbons for this one was 10, okay? Now if we calculate the IHD, the IHD for the first one is zero. There's no double bonds, there's no rings, there's no triple bonds. The IHD for the second one is also zero, okay? So what that means is that these have the same atoms. Okay, now all I have to do is figure out, are they also connected the same? Okay, in this case, I said this one's tricky because I need to find a landmark atom. I need to find an atom that I can compare in both of these and see if it's connected the same way. What I would choose here is I would choose the atom that has four bonds on it. Because notice that I have only one carbon that has four bonds on this entire thing. If I can locate that one on both of these, then I could compare what are the four things that are attached. So over here, if I'm looking for the atom that has four bonds, it would be right here, okay? So now what I do is I'm gonna look at the four things that are attached and see if those same four things are attached to the blue carbon on the other side. So notice that this blue carbon has two methyls coming off of it. Does the other blue carbon have two? I'm, I'm sorry, and that's called a methyl group, but we'll talk about that more later. Like you don't need to know that that's called a methyl group. But for right now, you do need to know that that's a CH3. So I'm just going to like make this a little bit bigger, CH3, CH3, okay? So we have two CH3s coming off of that. Do we have the same thing coming off of the other one? Yes, CH3, CH3, cool. So then what else? Well, we also have a carbon chain that has three carbons, one, two, three, and it's connected in the middle, okay? Now let's look on the other side to see if we can find the same thing. Actually, yes, we have one that has three carbons and it's connected in the middle. So, so far, this is looking like it's the same compound. But let's just look at this last one. So this last one looks like it's four carbons. Um, one, two, three, four. And it has that pattern where basically it's connected to a CH2 and then a CH and then two CH3s. So basically, I have this pattern of CH2, CH, and then CH3, 2. Do you guys see that? I'm just using the condensed formula, okay? So now let's see if I get the same thing on the other side. On the other side, I have a CH2 connected to a CH, and then connected to CH3, 2. It's the same exact thing on both sides. It's just, now I just drew the condensed structure, the condensed formula going the other way. All right, so it turns out that these molecules are exactly the same. They were just rotated in different ways. All right, now I don't want you to try to visualize, oh, if I flip this, it would be that. I just want you to know, hey, they have the same groups on all sides, so these would be identical compounds, okay? Because they have the same atoms and they have what we call the same connectivity.